Hello, beautiful Leo. How are you today? Okay, Leo, the energy between you and your lover in the recent past is wounded. You've broken each other's hearts. You've left each other out in the cold. You both feel... Here's the deal, though. There's something important here. When you look at the Five of Pentacles card, this is a spiritual card because this person, this is you, Leo, and your person, feeling very left out in the cold, but as you can see, this person has their head buried in their arms. They're not looking up. And there's this beautiful ray of sunlight coming across a huge key that goes in this huge lock that opens a huge door. So you and your partner are so wounded by what has happened that you don't see the forest for the trees, as, as the American grandmothers would have said to you. Darling, you don't see what's obvious and what's right in front of you. We have the energy here of both of you right now are working, working, working. Both of you have decided to try to put this behind you. It's Virgo energy. Your person, Leo, may have Virgo in their chart. You may have it in your chart. But this is a double Virgo energy. Both of you are very attractive. Both of you are very successful. Both of you are very strong. You like being alone. You like your independence. Um, so it really speaks to the fact that you have, you hold each other in high regard. In many ways, you're very similar also in how you handle stress, how you deal with things. Now we have more Virgo energy because we have, first of all, this is Taurus energy, clarified by Virgo energy. So, Leo, your person sees the situation as equal give and take. Your person feels as though they've given to you equally, you've given to them equally. The Hermit card says that they're trying to figure out how to heal the situation, what to do about it. You know, just as a practical matter, they're trying to figure out a solution to what's deemed as this problem. When they view you, they feel as though you have given up. They feel as though, Leo, the Ten of Wands, you've packed your bags, you've given up the, the um, you know, the difficulty, the weight of it, you've moved on. And the Nine of Swords says that what they don't see about you is that you have remorse and regret, Leo. You have remorse and regret. You feel as though there were things that you said or you might have done. You know, this is an energy that says that they think that that might be possible. They may be sharing that feeling. I feel almost like this is a direct, I th feel like you're mirroring each other. Very interesting reading okay we get the four of wands so this is aries energy your person wants to move in the direction of a relationship with you that's more secure for some of you your person may be someone who needs to leave a marriage to come to you because we get marriage here we get you know somebody leaving here when we see this, this is generally a very, very good energy. But whenever I see somebody walking away from this, they want this with you. This is how your person feels in their heart space. They love you. They want stability. This is a classic marriage card. It's a honeymoon card. It's a bride and groom dancing under the garland at the wedding. And so they want to slow walk their way to it. But the flip side of the meaning is, is that they may have to leave another relationship to be able to enter this one. It won't be true of everybody, but it will be true of some of you. How they view you, oh, how they view their feelings for you. You are a rock star. 
you are absolutely as beautiful inside as you are outside. You are their happy space. You are their happy place. They feel joyful. They feel as though, you know, eat, drink, be merry, living in the moment. Great happiness. Your person wants this with you. But look at this, the Eight of Swords, self-imposed restriction. So while you're restricting yourself here and leaving them, they have restricted themselves here and they're currently restricting themselves. Both of you are in this energy, look at this, of being angry at each other. The Five and Seven of Swords. You've had an argument. Nobody's talking. This is the hidden energy in the reading. And look at it. You're, you know, you both, you're not being honest with each other. You've had some sort of fight. You've abandoned each other in the process. Look at when you go from the five the, to the seven. Those are conflict. It's also not really being fair to each other. And then you go to the seven from the seven to the eight to the nine. I mean, it's about as bad as it can get. Not quite. But this energy of the two of you being upset and angry and feeling wounded as if the other person was, you know, lying or playing with you or playing games. Normally, I would say that could be the case, but not not normally when I see it clarified by what's hidden here is that your person you see your person as a rock star they see you as an empress so they see you as a rock star you see them as a rock star you both see one another as a rock star and you see one another as the epitome of everything beautiful and love taurus taurus empress both of you want to manifest one another you both want to speak to each other. You both want to heal this wound. You want to be together. Spirit is advising you to try to look at this logically and understand that both of you still want the relationship. The Libra Queen is so busy turning her back on this. She is looking for answers. And here's your outcome. The answers you have are within you know what the answer is. You know that this person actually loves you. Look at this. But look at how that we have this beginning. The This is the starting card. And this is a clarification for the ending card. It's quite striking. Both of you are absolutely just heartbroken in separation. The page of swords is the energy of trying to find answers, enlightenment. Let's see what else we can get here from the cards. So why do we have the Queen of Swords here? Why is the Queen of Swords? I just, Spirit is trying to say, look at this. So both of you are looking at this logically, and you both feel as though the cycle has to be closed out. But Spirit is not necessarily saying that. What does Spirit want you to do? With this energy, what is the advice of spirit? Close out a cycle, perhaps, of loneliness. Yep. Okay, there we go. So spirit is saying, close out a cycle of being very judgmental about each other. Queen of Swords. Stop being so intellectual and aloof. You know, the queen is fair and balanced, but what spirit is saying is recognize the love that is going on here beneath the surface. Let's see what we have for the Four of Swords. Why do we have the Four of Swords here? I'm going to clarify both of them. The Four of Swords, what does the Four of Swords represent? Aha, uh -huh. oh, more of the same. Look at this. Oh, goodness. The Four of Swords represents this walking away. Look at, we have that energy here. The Two of Swords, you know. Your person sees you, Leo, as someone who just doesn't want to hear what they have to say. And in the process, both of you are really trying to figure out if this is what you want to do. But right now, you have it's like you've given up on each other. 
Let's look at another deck here. I want to see what we have with the Lenormand deck. Okay, let's look and see. I'm not seeing deception. I'm see I'm seeing two people who are just absolutely crushed. Both of you believe there's been deception. So let's clarify this. Has there been a deception here? Has there been a deception? And if so, who is this person? Which person is it? Masculine or feminine? Bear. There's a lot of maternal energy. Both of you nurture each other. You love each other. You want each other. You need each other. Oh my gosh. Okay, so. Tell us about the Five of Swords. Tell us about the Five of Swords. What's the Five of Swords energy? The Five of Swords energy. Five of Swords energy. I'm just going to go with this. Yep, the truth of the matter is that you still love each other very deeply. You both have a you both nurture each other. Look at this, the ring. Wow, okay. So I'm seeing both of you want the same thing and you're not telling each other. You're crushed. You've walked away from each other. You're mad at each other. What you want, what you're doing. It's not in alignment. That's what Spirit is telling you with this. So why do we have the Four of Swords yeah. card? What was the Four of Swords card? There we go. Yeah. The clouds. Things that you didn't see about each other in the relationship. But you know, a cloudy day is not a bad day. It really isn't. Both of you didn't see this coming. But it doesn't mean anything more than that. Look at the loyalty. Oh, the two of you are so loyal. Look at that. Okay, so why do we have all of this? What's going to happen with this? What's the outcome of this period of time apart? Fish. The fish energy. Okay, so let's really see what the Lenormand deck says about this in detail. And let's look and see what the fish energy really tells us about this. Not what we have, but what we enjoy constitutes our abundance. The fish is a universal symbol of abundance in Lenormand. The fish card indicates the flow of plentiful, plentiful resources, but it is a card with a double-edged meaning. One of the messages is that too much of a good thing can be harmful. While the former prays for rain, torrential rains can have a devastating effect. The fish card signifies commerce, transactions, trade, opportunities, profits, and prosperity. Expanding business can be a lucrative endeavor, but excessive working can lead to neglect of other important areas of your life and greed can undermine the virtue of hard work. This card is also associated with excessive behavior that leads to addiction or alcoholism, especially near the whips card. Well, we don't have the whips card at all. The fish card is a reminder to manage resources wisely, enjoy things in moderation, and be careful of what you wish for. Abundance, prosperity, profits, opportunities, resources, commerce, excess, and immoderation. So what we're seeing here is that both of you love each other. You're loyal to each other. But the lack of communication that has come about is because the two of you are overworking and that created a situation in which you weren't able to see each other. So you lost your ability to have equal give and take. When you lost this, you it devolved into a situation in which both of you made the assumption that the other person had some other love interest. So this clearly needs some advice from this beautiful Oracle deck. This oracle deck is the Angels and Ancestors oracle cards. Angels and Ancestors. So what do we have for our beautiful friends? Angels and Ancestors. Hey. 
Stay rooted and grounded and earth guardian. Well, we have we have this energy here. Virgo energy tends to be very dutiful energy. Star ancestor, follow the voice in your soul. All right, so that's very important. The voice in your soul is calling to you with love, with hope, with dreams for love coming true, with knowing that you want more, that you're willing to give more, you're willing to receive more in this relationship. Mountains, stand your ground. Okay. Sending you love from Chicago. Please enter the contest. I would love to provide that free reading for you. Send some love back and tell me where you're from. Take care. Make sure to thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.